Hey, what up, guys? It's Don. Sammy Lee here. Good to see you guys. This is the Soul Brothers, of course. The Soul Brothers. Back up in it. This is a big boy review. Uh, one of the biggest of the year, definitely. Okay, this is the Air Jordan 31 uh, by Jordan Brand, aka Nike. That's why we got a little swoosh action going on. Yep. It doesn't look that bad. Um, so let's get right into it. Yeah, let's start with uh, the highlight of the shoe, which is the traction. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> what the hell, dude? What like, happened? Dude, the 29 and 30 were really nice. I don't even understand. Literally, you try to stop. Let's say you try to stop right here, right? You try to stop, you go another like two to three inches, and then you stop. I'm just like, why in the fuck would you have a traction that does that? There is a solid rubber outsole option on one of the colorways that are going to come out. So I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I'm, I, I want to try those for sure because we had a big problem with the Kobe 11s also. Yeah. But this was worse than that. This is horrible. Okay, there's no bite even on like a clean surface. Exactly. It doesn't bite. It doesn't grab. And then if you get dust on it, it's it's a wrap. It's exactly. actually like close to being dangerous. Exactly. It's not. It's obviously not the worst traction we've ever used. Uh, it's, it's one of the worst. No, I'm saying like like does it basketball shoes oh, okay, and stuff, okay. right? Like, but for the Air Jordan model, it's a catastrophe. It's a piece of crap. You know what I mean? Garbage. And at the same time, Shit. it's maybe the squeakiest no, cushion no, no. I've ever heard. It is, yeah. And like, how... That, that just goes to show that squeak doesn't really mean good traction. It doesn't. I also, for you guys are, that keep saying <clears throat> a squeak, we know that it doesn't have any... It's, it's not um, related at all. We yeah. know that. We're just saying... We're doing the squeak test because some people want to know how squeaky the traction yeah. is, you know? So, um, please just uh, get off our ass on that. Yeah. Because we know. Um, but, yeah, the traction is, I give it like a negative 20 million. Negative 20 million. Exactly. Uh, I'll give it a negative infinity. I mean, <laughs> I mean like, the, the rubber's hard, so I think outdoor use should be fine. Uh, I'm not sure how the zoom unit would be, but um, outdoor use should be okay because the rubber is hard. Um, and yeah, it's just no, 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 uh, no, no. catastrophic uh, failure right there. Failure. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for checking us out. No, we got to break down the rest of the shoe, which I'm actually really it's stoked amazing, on. Amazing. Yes. So the midsole, we have full length zoom. You can see it right the, uh, on the bottom. It's a translucent outsole, so you can see that zoom unit. This reminds me. This is one of the cushions that reminds me fully of the LeBron Eleven. Really? Yeah. More not, so. Not the Hyperdunk. You're tripping. No. He's tripping. I'm not know tripping. In the comments I can I can feel this way more no. than the freaking Hyperdunk. No. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, yeah, this is full length zoom. You can definitely feel it. It's nice, but you still get a bunch of response, which is great. Yeah. Uh, you get impact protection, and you feel super low to the ground. Super low, yeah. You see how thin nice. that midsole is right yeah. here? It's crazy. It's crazy. And um, uh, you can, I can even feel a bounce. I, I'm 140 yeah, pounds. For sure. Is that, is that light? Yeah, that's pretty fucking light. That's pretty um, light. So I can even feel it. Uh, I'm like five eight, five nine, skinny, uh, Asian kid. You know, that's mm -hmm. what a, a lot of you guys call me. Um, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, I, I, I give it a 10. I really like the cushion setup. Yeah, really, I would too. Yeah. It's, 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 it's awesome. Not, it's not a crazy bounce where uh, you get, you still get good response, but then it's not like the, it's not like the hyper dunks where it's like really mushy and it's like you have a lot of trampoline shit. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, like a fast bounce and it yeah. feels really nice. It's pretty subtle also. So I really like it. Yeah. So um, there you go. That's a 10 for me and 10 for Don. So yeah. let's move on to the upper. The upper is stupid nice. It is very nice. Man, this thing is nice. I really um, like it. I'm not even quite positive why it's so nice. You know, because it has like a... Okay, so it's a woven. It's a performance woven fly weave upper, right? Yep. So fly weave, like in past models like the Kobe Mentality 2. KD8. KD8. Um, That's about it. It's nice, but it feels a little cheap. It does. The this, KD, KD8 feels pretty nice, right? Though. But this doesn't feel cheap at all. Nope. And there's like a backing that feels like a neoprene backing underneath it. Underneath it, yeah. Uh, it's kind of this this piece here, and it goes throughout the whole uh, shoe. <coughs> and man, it's soft, and it's super comfortable. And then it transitions, like fades into this synthetic leather, which offers some support. And it's really nice. 
super premium feeling. Um, and then the tongue is even like a knit material. Yep. The same kind of material probably, right? Yep. And that's super nice too. I, I would give it a fucking 10. I'd like, give it a know? 10 too. Uh, it feels really similar to, I'm looking at all my shoes right now. It feels really similar to like a jacket. Yeah. Like you, the jacket on the Crazy Light Boost. But a little yeah. bit softer and thinner, you know? Yeah, it's softer than the Jacker. So, um, yeah, that's why I really like it. And it's also supporting, which I like. Yeah. It's not like the 29s where it stretches a lot. Yeah. And in the 30s where the toe cap is just fucked up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, 10 for that. Um, moving on to fit. Flywire is in there too, which is also really nice. Is it Flywire? Uh, or whatever, it? flight, um, <laughs> flight, air wire, exact, air, air wire. Jordan wire. Exactly. Okay, but... <clears throat> Uh, fit. We were talking about fit. We were talking about fit. Let's go on to fit. Um, fit. Awesome. Go true to size. Um, it does fit wide though. A, a little, little bit. A, yeah. It a does. little roomy in the toe area and fits a little wide. Uh, the twenty nine and thirty For were sure. actually really um, narrow. Mm -hmm. but then this one is actually pretty wide. So if you have a wider foot, then that's a good uh, point for you. The twenty nine was not narrow. Really? No. That was. I was swimming in that. No, I think it's because the, the the material had like no supports. That's why no. Maybe that's what that's what it was for me. But, Maybe. Um, but yeah, th these do run wide. I wish it <laughs> ran a little more narrow. Yeah. For me, but if you're wide for you're probably gonna like that. I actually put a little insole in there to bring me up a little bit. That's what you can do. Which was nice. Yep. And that kind of killed that. Yep. But fit for me was just uh, once it's wrapped, once it's tightened up, and oh man. Yeah. It's one of those shoes you forget that's on your feet until you go to step and you slide off. <laughs> You know, like with the fucking, fucking shitty banana. ass traction. Like, you know what you should do? You should put a little insole in there too. Not that you're gonna play on those again. No, fuck, I'm never gonna play in these again. Uh, no. If you put a little insole in there, it brings you right. It brings your toes like right up to the oh, top, I and see. it's nice. But anyways, moving on. Uh, so fit. Uh, what like eight? Yeah, eight. Eight. Okay. Support really good. It's good. No yeah. complaints. Doesn't stretch here in the highway areas and on the lateral side in the forefoot. And um, it would okay. So one thing that really annoyed me is this part, um, because they should have made it a little lower, you know. Mm -hmm. Because my my it, this digs into my Achilles when I uh, bend my foot like this and shit, you know, doing like some weird ass shit. But yeah, um, he's kicking his foot up. I didn't have that problem. Yeah, but you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, support also in the ankle. Well, it wasn't the best, but if you were an ankle brace, it should be fine. So there you go. Yeah, it's solid. It's it's uh, you know mid to high, so I'll give it like an eight, you know, yeah. maybe even a nine. I don't know. I, I didn't have any problems, so there's really no reason to knock it. Now lockdown <clears throat> is has been uh well in the thirty was a very very solid. Thirty is better than this in lockdown for sure. That yeah. thirty lockdown is is just bananas. Bananas. This bananas. is really good too. They went ape shit with these Achilles pillows. There's six of them. There's six of them and they're like a um, like a gel material. Yep. Squeeze them. It's like a uh, like a memory gel material. Like like on the mouse pad? You know, yeah, exactly. Head. So, um, but lockdown was really good. I would still give it an eight or a nine. I didn't have any problems. Yep. And these Achilles pillows feel really nice, but they're not as like grabbing as the 30s yeah and also it feels like this is really similar to the m i think it might be just like copied and pasted from m which is not a bad thing really um, but yeah but anyways now moving on to uh ventilation ventilaciones i wasn't What's, too hot it wasn't too hot so it average. should be fine average yeah. you know uh moving on to what aesthetics uh, aesthetics I think they're really dope. Yeah, once when you have it on foot, it looks dope. Uh, yeah. when, when I first saw the pictures, it didn't look as good, especially the band colorway for some reason. I just didn't really like it. But um, once it's on foot, it looks good. Yeah, it does. And, and like wearing it, it feels, you know when you like wear a shoe and you're like looking down at it and you're like, oh, I don't really like the way it looks. Yeah. Or you do. I, I really like this one. I was looking at the mirror. I was like, damn, I look fucking Yeah, good. you kept walking by. It's like, damn. <laughs> nah, I was just kidding. Was but... like, can I get your number, dog? <laughs> I said that to myself. To you know? uh, <laughs> yeah, moving on to so durability. Durability, not great in the outsole. Out because this is already framed. Oh shit, I didn't even fucking see that. Yeah. Well, no, that's just dust. Is it? Yeah, it's just dust. That's yeah, just fucking stuck to that. I don't know about that. Really? Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Alright. But um, durability, I think the outsole, the rubber's hard, so it should be yeah, fine. Yeah, it does seem pretty hard though. And then the materials seem to be good, so durability is probably good yeah let's weigh these motherfucking guys it's a 13.58 so it's actually not that heavy yeah um and also uh not just like uh the actual weight but uh the feeling uh, of the shoe on the foot it feels really like yeah it does 
Uh, actually, um, besides the traction, if the traction was better, it would feel super light. Yeah, it would. But um, you know, the response time of the traction sucks dick. Um, but anyways, uh, moving on to the price, price. is 185. 185. 185. So they're dropping the price again, which I like to see that a lot. Because Jordan Brand's kind of falling off. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I don't know if they're doing too well. They must not be. But bringing down the price is good. Um, you know, wrapping things up, this shoe is absolutely incredible. Aside from the catastrophic failure, of I, I, I the can't LCL. play in these guys. You I can't wanna, even play in them. I want to play in these. These are nice. Like the cushion feels amazing. The, the fit, everything about it, the upper is super soft, you know, but I can't play in these because of the traction. I, I, if you have like, um, I don't know, like, the, I'm not saying I play like Kyrie, but like if you do a lot of crossovers and cuts and shit, uh, and you go like this, you know, and you do the crossover and you put your foot out really hard, you're gonna slip out. That's what happened to me. That's why I couldn't play in these a lot. Yeah. Um, so if you play like that, then don't, but if you play more like um, post, post up game or whatever and you don't do a lot of crossovers or cuts and stuff it should be better yeah so um there you go yeah so you know unfortunately we can't fully recommend these these joints here just because of the traction yet we will test ones with solid outsoles we, and that, that may change how the traction is like we the colby 11 was really bad in the translucent we first had and then we got a solid outsole and it was insane yep so i don't know we'll see but it as of right uh, now these are, are no go for us nope uh, as far as recommending them, yeah. Uh, but the shoe is so good from the midsole up that it's still in my rotation. All right, that's it. My name is Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul brother. Peace. Peace.